Um, so what we have here is a neat little plant, Blue Cohosh. Uh, the scientific name is that Calophyllum thalictroides. Uh, thalictroides, because the leaves, here's a young one you can really kind of see, look a lot like thalictrum, which is the meadow rose, and that's why they call it that. But this is a neat plant. comes up in like many cohoshes. It stems out, usually one to three stems. If it's just got leaves, it's three. Um, if it's going to have flowers, then it, it oftentimes has four. That is it in bloom. Uh, this is a woodland edge plant uh, found in moist, rich coves, usually by the water's edge. Blooms a little bit later than some of the other plants. Like many other plants that are called cohosh, this is quite a medicinal plant. Uh, this plant has been used in all sorts of different things, but especially uh, more than anything else by different native tribes, uh, by midwives, and, uh, and a lot of times as a contraceptive or for use in abortions, uh, a lot of things like that. Uh, but blue cohosh, this, these little flowers, if they, uh, if they get pollinated, uh, they will form these little fruits, bluish in color, and thus the name. So not a common plant by any means, but a neat little plant that we have that grows in the rich, moist woods by the river's edges. Here I am by the Potomac River, and I was able to find this one again in, uh, in full bloom. Uh, it's sparsely flowered because it doesn't get a lot, a lot of sun in here. Uh, blue cohosh, a native woodland uh, wildflower. can get up to two feet tall, sometimes a little taller, but most of the time it's much shorter than that. What a great little plant.